What's up everyone? Tonight's target is one that I've done in the past with my refractor and with my 8SC and that was in the beginning so but now I'm using my 8SC again because I think I'm a little bit better with my processing skills and setup and everything so I'm going after the Whirlpool Galaxy which is M51 and I'm using my 8SC because I have not done this target with the 8SC except for when I first got my 8SC and it was back then it was DSLR and stuff like that so I really wasn't didn't too much know what I was doing so here's what uh, image tonight uh, let me just click on right here here's a medium stretch zoom in a little bit and you can see the galaxy right here let me do a light stretch like a low stretch but you can still see it yeah so right now the moon is just about like two percent illuminated so had to go after this galaxy but I only have about two hours almost three hours tonight total because clouds are rolling in right around midnight so it's only 10 30 right now so it's on red filter so I'm doing close to three hours like two and a half hours total so it's not that many shots it's like 25 red green and blue and 30 luminance and it's only two minute exposures on the RGB and one minute exposure on luminance so hopefully that's enough to get all the data let's see what this guiding looks like 1.15 not too bad for the 8SC on that AVX mount looks like it's going pretty smooth I mean that's, that's pretty good for all this weight this one there and update on my refractor situation I finally picked out a refractor and actually got it on sale everybody has it on sale right now even um, uh, what's the website High Point Scientific uh, everybody has it on sale it's the Explore Scientific 80 millimeter and this one is the newest well, not really new, maybe a year and a half ago. The newest glass that they're using now, which is the FCD 100. So they talked me into that one. They said that's the one that reduces halos, like blue halos on the stars, better glass, and everything. And I've seen a lot of posts of guys saying that it's worth the money if you were to get that kind of glass. So I'm going to give it a shot. Scope will be here in about maybe five days. And I didn't get my flange for the autofocuser yet. I'm just going to focus it manually and see how everything looks. If I'm happy, then I'm going to go ahead and get the flange so I can start using the Moonlight autofocuser on there. But that's the latest update. So right now I'm just using my ADS-C and it looks like it's still holding down. So let's see how this Whirlpool Galaxy comes out. And if I had more time, I would go for the um, Pinwheel Galaxy. It's already set up, but clouds are rolling in tonight. If it was no clouds, I could do both of these galaxies tonight. Perfect, but clouds coming in. That's all I got. All right.